Hi everyone, welcome back to Simpit Academy channel. I apologize for the um, long delay, the, the long break in between. So life happens, got caught up in a lot of work. So finally had the time to do this. So today we cover the CDU and the AAP. So AP is simple and I'll start with that and then I'll show you how I did the uh, CDU. So as usual, we always start with the back panel. We get the PDF and use Inkscape to convert to SVG and then we bring the SVG into FreeCAD, right? So all these objects here, we need to choose the right one to get the outline of the panel and all the holes and you make adjustments to the size of the holes depending on the size of the switches you are using. So add some back recess as usual for the panel and here we have it like this. Um, this one is to put the the lock ring and the hole <clears throat> right to hold down the toggles. So the top panel again bring in the SVG, select them, convert them to sketch and here we have this. I'm not using all these lines so I uh, just have the holes. Then the lines um, will have to be a separate um, selection, right? Not together. So the here shows the distance. This panel is pretty simple. Okay, here we have the lock ring holes. So this is about it for this one. Right, you add the this one is a top recess, right? Okay. Um the text um all these are like bigger size and then the positions whatever tend to be smaller. So as usual the holes holding two panels, top panel and back panel, the holes are like three point six and then those here with the, the hex screw is like 4.3. All right, so toggles, two rotary switches, one more toggle, that's about it. And here is the DCS BIOS code. So this is a simple build, like the electric power panel, couple of switches. Next, we look at CDU. CDU is tedious, um, not technically complicated. I've done many um, buttons for the F15E, even for the A10, UFC, stuff like that. So sometimes I use this, sometimes I use this. I prefer using this when possible because the, the legs here um, they are more sturdy and just you know put it through but you at the top you still need to have a top recess to hold this in place right you have a like a four-sided fence and this one won't spin because the body is round it will tend to spin once you have a four-sided fence this thing is staying put right and then you wire them it's very easy this one it's smaller and the legs are fragile, right? You need to solder them, they come loose, you need. You should be using stranded wire, um, it, it doesn't break as much. And then these two holes um, that we will place on the back panel, right, to hold it in place. But the legs break very easily, so I actually don't like using this. Um, however, this I will show you in a minute um, why I use this at the top. Then the round ones here at the bottom. Note that um, 
Romeo Kilos um Kilos PDF he added this role. I didn't know until everything was done. This is an additional role where he used them as function keys. So I ended up uh revising and just not drawing them out. Alright. So if you blindly use the PDF, you will find yourself with an extra row of buttons. If you want it to match the A10 CDU, um, this is going to be extra. So as usual, um, if the hole provided from the PDF to SVG, you know, this is the bigger one and mine holding the two panels together, 3.6, you will have to draw a smaller hole and then you click top, bottom, center, right? And then click this one here. It will center it vertically. Then you click this, 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 and then click this one, symmetrical. And then basically by doing this twice, you will center this. Then you remove the outer ring. Then you set the diameter, okay, to what you want. All right, so the end result is here. Now, if you are given um, the squares from the PDF but you are using a round body right if you are if you are using this instead which is a round body then you want to convert all the squares into circles then the way you do it is you just draw a line draw another line right once you trim one of them the center will mark um, will be marked here that will be the center of the square then you draw a circle right you click on it and you drag it out you draw a circle and then you can remove the rest of the lines so you want to make them all horizontally aligned and then set the distance um, there are many many buttons so this is a slow tedious process but nothing really challenging about it so now the top recess as mentioned before this one can spin and you want to sink the top down about 4 mm okay that will be a sufficient fence to hold this square up then at the back we have this thing protruding um we are using like um, a shield Right, the screen comes with it and a shield and kind of couple of legs to to connect to a mega. So this part here is very close to the top, like half mm or three quarter of an mm, almost to the top. Okay, so we have to kind of deepen this a bit. Um, Then you want to have a back recess for this whole thing here, okay? To sit in, the screen is going to be much smaller, but the whole body needs to, to sit in at the back, okay? Then here we want to pocket the um, the bottom, okay? for the for this switch okay this thing is sitting on top of the back panel so this body here of this switch um it needs to be given space from the back recess of the top panel right if not the top panel cannot sit flush down that's what we do So this is the back recess. Okay, when it's done, it's like this. This is looking from the bottom of the top panel. So you have a recess in here. You have a recess for the whole the shield to sit in. Then this is the top. Um, you draw the lines. Actually, raise this one. Then when I'm done, I realized I forgot to color them. So everything is black. Okay, so this is raised. Um, sorry, not raised. This is sunken down, top recess down. 
Uh, so all these are now fences for the buttons. So you do the top panel, you want to do the back panel um, of any top panel. Basically, it's, it's all the way without this C-shaped uh, hole, right? Whether left or right, top or bottom, it's all additional 0.8 mm. Okay, the back panel is slightly bigger than the top panel. So the center um, between here to here is 4.76. Then draw your circle of the back panel. This, this outline is gone, right? This is the back panel, not the top panel. So, So we draw these lines. Um, these holes are for the legs to go through, and these holes are for the pegs to anchor the um, those buttons, right? So this is the back panel. Its job is to have the holes to to hold the the pegs of the square buttons. So. Why we are doing this is because of this guy here, all right. So we cannot um cannot use this, which I love. Um, very easy to to connect the wires. These are for all this here. This one because um of the size of the shield and especially for this guy here. This is already I'm using like a right angle down um, connector, right? If not, you will be going through out all the way here. Um, and when you put it on the console, you want to avoid going out, okay? So this is down and you put it behind. So when you put it behind, you cannot have this. This will be um, clashing with the body here. So I try to use this because these are shallow, right? Um, and you can bend the legs flat out a bit. So this is the reason why we are using this kind of uh, slightly smaller square buttons. It's not for the size, it's for the depth. This is shallow. It will sit on top of this guy here, all right? While this can go all the way through. So. This is the opening of the screen, right? But the shield is bigger, slightly bigger, closer to the side. Um, yeah, so this is the main problem. So back panel, right? Um, the black ones are the top panel outline. So we are doing this. If you don't have the gaps here, the legs cannot go through, um, you're going to have a problem. So you must provide gaps, and the gaps can be for both sides of the the switch, right? This top switch have two legs. This switch here has another leg on both sides. So they all they have to be pretty wide, uh, because if not, with the wires added, things get crowded. Okay, even this I find that it's not um wide enough if you are wiring. If you're adding wires to the top, not to the bottom legs, then you need to enlarge this a bit. So as mentioned, I'm not using this, so we don't have this row here. And the the rocker that should be here and the rocker should be here. I'm just using two square buttons. All right. And this one too. This one is these two buttons here. So this is what we get. These are all the numbers that I'm using. Um, these two are not functional, so I didn't even bother wiring them. And neither are these two, right? You can skip the wiring. Unless lately they have become functional, so. All right, so one thing before I finish was I realized that when you put this thing, um, the whole thing was sinking too far down, like inside here, right? So this thing was, preventing this from sinking in so this is blocking and this cannot sit all the way down so therefore i have to raise this up to make this level so i added another 3 mm so basically if you don't want to do this additional piece then when you sink the 
create the back recess um, or maybe don't need the back recess at all basically from whatever depth I created I need to raise it up back 3mm now this thing sits flush okay the the shield so this is the DCS BIOS for all the buttons right see no function here um, also the rocker no function everything else um, works so for the screen um, kudos to this guy Dutch Warthog right he shared his YouTube uh, many years ago so basically you get this screen um, from Aliexpress right the screen comes with the shield and you just put it on top of the mega and this is his code right you can check out his YouTube and he has the code here but this is what it does and then eight lines okay these are all the DCS BIOS code provided you just need to um, make the necessary changes okay at the end you void set up and clear this and then you're done so when you run a um, the A10 mission and you run DCS BIOS the screen will start working with the buttons then the whole thing is uh, functional both buttons and the screen all right so now we can uh, take a look 